Hello and welcome to today's cryptic crossword solve. This time it's by Imogen. Cryptic crossword number 29180 and it's currently Wednesday, September the 20th, 2023. So let's take a look. First of various aromas swirling around boiler. First of various is the letter V, plus aromas for swirling being the anagram indicator would give us seven letters. So definition is probably boiler. Boiler could be some type of heater or kettle. Samovar would do then. A samovar is a, if I, if I remember correctly, it's a quite an ornate uh, Russian water heater but they're not just confined to Russia I think the overall design has sort of permeated most of the world one down shoot November is not part of the season so N can abbreviate for November because it's part of the NATO alphabet and I suspect we're having to take a season and take the letter N out of it. So the definition is shoot. The question mark, so some kind of example or play on words. Season, spring, summer. Spring, take the N out of spring and you're left with sprig, and sprig is a shoot, as in a sprig of rosemary, that sort of thing. 11 across. Bands number received in silence. Um, again, N for number is possible. Definition is banned. Oh, okay, so silence, gag as a verb, to silence, plus an N is gang. Two down. Graduate engages someone to promote book. The colour purple. Well, the colour purple was a I think a film with Whoopi Goldberg back in the back in the day, uh, based from a book which I've not read. I suspect the definition is the colour purple. Magenta would fit. That would be um, M A is your graduate, Master of Arts, and Agent is someone to promote a book. three down watch tv that is fitted inside car watch tv must be the definition okay that is is ie from the latin id est and ie inside of vw gives you view Nine household work our MA managed with glee. Household work, it's an anagram of um, our ma glee, possibly it's nine letters. Household work. Oh, I haven't read this, but um, this is quite clever. Um, it's the definition being household work isn't chores around the house, such as washing or ironing. It's <laughs> it's a typical trope. This um, it's a it's the title of a novel because um, Jeffrey Household, 
is the author and I'm pretty certain that he wrote a book called Rogue Mail which is an anagram of Al Ma with Glee Fall Down from Hades Guilty Criminal First Bomb to Make Unwelcome Appearance Could be the letters of Hades guilty with some other letters not quite certain yet let's try 14 across without transport left out of touch so again meant to be thinking about um the letter L for left being removed, as in left out. Definition is probably touch. If you're, <laughs> if you're carless, you're without transport, take the L out of that and you're left with caress, which would work. Okay, 13 down with an E. In base, part of chest covered in decorations. Not certain on that one. Um, five down with an E. Firm reasons to support appeal for amusement park. Hmm. Pleasure something. Pleasure grounds. So that's how does that work? Plea for pill and sure grounds of firm reasons. Okay, since we're down here, twenty seven across. Small arch. One of five in school. Mm. Not certain of that one. What is five? It could be a reference to that, I suppose. Professor on board joined dive. Definition here is dive, I suspect. Professor on board joined. Oh, that's clever. Um, there's a board game called Cluedo and Professor Plum. He's one of the main characters, along with Miss Scarlet and others. And so that's Plum. And Met is joined in the past tense. And Plummet means to dive. Eight down. Gardner returning to turn over part of the earth. Um, see, part here makes me want to think of an embed, probably a reverse embed, i.e. it's going right to left, not left to right. Of the earth could be the definition. Terrain would do it. Yeah, it's there. Excellent. Okay, 15. In speech, demolish feeble publicity. So I think it wants to be a homophone. Demolish could be wreck.
Reclaim is publicity. But it's spelt like this. I think it's from the French. That's quite tough, actually. 18. Tasteless and more than a little vulgar is Henry. Okay, definition is tasteless, most likely. And yet, if you look inside this clue, the word garish is embedded in there. The clue to looking for an embed is words that are containers in their own right, so more than a little is a vague hint that maybe there's a potential for an embed. So I got lucky just by checking. Six down, emphasize being no more than 19. Well, we don't have 19 yet, if indeed it's even a reference to that. Um, seven down, am about to train extraordinary tennis player. Um, yeah, it's a, uh, am, so am about is M-A. Train, the letters of, gives us the word Martina, who there are a few tennis players with that first name. Ten across, all the court put out. Resistance is much worse. So I think the definition here is much worse. So the word play is all the court put out. It's possible actually that we're looking to remove the letters of say CT for court out of a, a word for order and to insert a letter R for resistance. Um, direct as a verb is to give someone an order if you direct someone to do something. Direct less CT plus an R gives you ooh, dire. And if something is dire, then it's worse. And if something is dire, I suppose it's worse still. That's a horrible word. 12 across. <clears throat> Mouthy pair regularly heard failing to offer token support. I know what I want that to be just by the enumeration. Um, okay, so definition is token support. So regularly heard will be some alternate letters, be it H, A, D, or E and R. Given what I want this word to be, I think it is E and R. And then a word for failing. So I think the actual answer here is lip service. Lips are mouthy or a mouthy pair because there's more than one, so part of your mouth. Um, and then ER is alternate letters of heard. And then vice is a failing. So people talk about, you know, alcohol as a vice that sort of thing because it's a weakness it's a failing emphasize being no more than 19. ah brilliant so the definition here is emphasize and the number 19 here has nothing to do with the answer to number 19 in the crossword but if you emphasize something you might underscore it and a score is 20. So if you're 19, you are technically under 
20, so your underscore. Let's have a look at 19 down. Worked hard, stone split. Okay, definitions worked hard. I'm pretty certain that that's striven. Riven is split and ST is an abbreviation for stone. 21 across, stole whiskey on charge. Um, in, the f in the NATO alphabet, whiskey does abbreviate to the letter W. Um, Definition here is possibly stole. Uh, wrap. So charge, um, if you take the wrap for something, um, then you have confessed to something, therefore you will be charged for it. 22 down, squeeze a measure of column at foot of page. Um, definition here is probably squeeze. Presumably it's a verb. A measure of column. Oh yes, um, in newspaper parlance, um, there's very heavy value in column inches and indeed an inch plus a P gives you pinch and that is squeeze. 27. Oh, it's a small arch, one of five in score. Don't know it. 25 across public service vehicle shortly makes the side of Dutch city. Well, I know what I want you to be. It has to be Eindhoven. Um. I'm not quite sure why. Yeah, I think it wants to be. I just can't quite see why. Let's confirm that with 23 down. Second person's half expressed ideas. Okay, um, so I think the way this works is that the definition is second person. Um, and we take a word for ideas where half of it gives us the answer. Thoughts and thou, grammatically, that fits. Is this though small arch one of five? I'll come back to him. Let's have another look at four down from Hades, guilty criminal, first bum to make unwelcome appearance. Oh, yes, okay. So, letters of Hades, guilty. So, um, and one's bum is one's rear. So the, it has to be rear its ugly head, which in, which indeed means as a phrase to make an unwelcome appearance. But that is an anagram of Hades guilty plus rear. Twenty six across. Worked in school soundly, so covered in stars. Possibly it's a homophone. Study, study, I think 
Coven in Stars is studied. If you studied, but the homophone doesn't quite fit, but I think it wants to be studied. I'm a bit naughty of that. Um, 16 across of an EMG, transport chief hoping for donations from the passengers. Hoping for donations from the... Oh, that's brilliant. That's a... <laughs> Transport chief could be described as a bus king, and indeed, if one is busking, um, then yes, they may well get donations from passengers as they pass by, particularly on the London Underground, for instance. 13 down in base, part of chest, covered in decorations. Part of chest is your ribs, I suppose. No reason to understand if that's even in there. Um, 20 across. Work by indolent author. Okay, it's an anagram of by indolent, and that gives us Enid Blyton for the children's author of the Secret Seven, the Famous Five, etc. Used to read her books as a child. 17 down, Sarge, Small Gap, Twisting Bottom. Okay, S for small, I suspect. So the definition's probably massage and twisting bottom, I think in this in, in this context just means to rearrange the last couple of letters for a word that means gap. Hiatus. Uh, yes, because the massage is uh shiatsu. And looking at that you can see if if you swap the letters back again you have hiatus. 24, cross flirt with sweetie, keeping it secret. Flirt with, how oh, hit on is flirt with, where it's it, and sweetie is hon for, sure, for honey is a diminutive. <laughs> 16 down. Denizens of forest run out of trousers. Okay, another removal. R for run is in cricket is an abbreviation. So what are we looking for here? Denizens of forest is in trees. Okay, trousers are your breeches. Take the R out. And you're left with beaches, which are a type of tree. So at least a 13 and 27. Um, in base, part of chest covered in decorations. Oh. Um, berry boned means covered in decorations. That's your rib bone part of chest, and bed is base, flower bed, and that sort of thing. The base of, or the bed of a whatever. Which leaves us with this word small arch. One of five in school. Um, oh, I think I want that to be. School. Gwinch, I'm sure I've seen this before. 
Quinn. Yeah, S for small. Queen is five. And CH, okay. Well, there you go. That was um, that was quite tricky in places, actually. And as Imogen crosswords typically go, they have been trickier in the past. So I think I've gotten off lightly. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that solve. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.